Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Youth Man. Today we're in my home theater, and we're going to be doing what everybody's been asking for to demo the Klipsch RF7-3s with the dual SVS SB16 subwoofers. Now, these will be driven by an Onkyo TXNR5008 using just the preamp of it coming out of the Onkyo into a Parasound A52 Plus amplifier, which is a 200 watt by five. We're only running two channels of that five channel amplifier to the pair of RF7 version threes. So before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, this is the place to be. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right guys, so let's crank this up and see how they sound. Holy cow. Did you guys hear that? That sounded amazing, man. Oh my goodness. The clip speakers are incredibly detailed. I mean, oh my goodness. The dynamics, the bass from the subs. Holy cow. Lots and lots of tactile bass coming from both the 10 inch drivers in the Clips RF7 threes, as well as the dual 16 inch drivers in the SB16 subs. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm super pumped. Can you tell I'm a little bit excited? Oh my goodness. Man, I can't wait to fire up the first movie, but I wanted to give you guys a demo. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, hey, when are you going to play something? And the reality is, it just takes a lot of time and effort just to make a video such as this, especially something that I'm working on, uh, the next video that I'm gonna be putting out, um, some tutorials and things, but those things take a long time to edit and to shoot 
and uh, ran into a couple issues. So anyway, but I wanted to put something out that you could enjoy and that you could check out and, and listen to. So, man, my goodness, if you ever get a chance to listen to the RF 73s phenomenal speakers, a lot of people think, oh, the Clips RF7s and the 72s and 73s, they're just great for movies. They're not really good for music. That's baloney. Um, they've got incredible mid-range, super clean highs, and with the and with the new horn tweeter and the new horn has really softened up and refined that top end so that it's not that ear piercing um, kind of ear fatiguing sound that sometimes you got with the original RF sevens. And so, oh my goodness, man, I'm super pumped. These are fantastic. And the great thing too, when you feed them clean power, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm feeding them 200 watts per channel from the Parasound A52+. Plus. Now what I don't know is if you're only running two channels, do you get more power from the amp? Like 300 watts a channel or 350 a channel. That I'm not sure. But you'll never hit close to 350 watts, especially with Eclipse RF7s. They have such high sensitivity that it takes very little wattage to effectively get them cranking. Um, but the extra headroom in the amp just means that you're not going to even come close to clipping the amp, clipping the speakers, and causing distortion to introduce into those. Um, when you've got a receiver and you've got it three quarters volume cranked, 80%, 90%, more than likely you're going to be getting into some distortion and that'll destroy your tweeters and that'll destroy your speakers quicker than too much power will. So if you've got the means to purchase an amp, by all means, feed them some clean power, especially if you've got some inefficient speakers. As you know, I'm reviewing the SVS Ultra Towers. They sound great, but it takes a lot more power to drive them effectively and to get the volume out of them as opposed to the RF 73s. And so, especially if you've got some inefficient speakers, B&W are another one. A lot of theirs are around 89 dB uh, sensitivity. And so with those, you definitely would benefit from a powered amp. And I definitely am loving what I'm hearing out of that Parasound. That Parasound is super, super ridiculously clean, very detailed, very punchy. Um, wow, man, what a killer, killer sound. And so hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, just a, a look into the RF73s and the SVS SB16 Ultra Subs. I'm going to post links down in the description. If you're interested in checking out any of those, um, you can go to their websites and look up that information. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. If you're interested in other Klipsch videos, you can click on this link up here to the playlist of Klipsch speakers. And then if you're interested in some SVS videos that I made, click on this video right down here. Will you guys be blessed? And we'll catch you in the next video.